Welcome to Crowd the Tap. I'm Brian Mallow, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the at-home test strip to explore the chemistry of the tap water in your home. So this video is for people who received kit number one from a partner organization. And it's a very simple kit. It just consists of the test strip and this brochure. You'll need to provide a glass of tap water from your home, and just make sure it's tall enough that you can dunk all 14 of the test squares underwater. You'll also need a pen and a device to keep time with. I'm gonna use the stopwatch on my cell phone. And you'll also need a phone or a camera to take one picture of your results. The brochure also has step-by-step -step instructions as well as other information about the project. And on the other side, there's a legend or key that we're gonna to use to interpret the results of the test along with the water chemistry table. So we'll record our data here, then we'll go to the Crowd the Tap website and add it to the questionnaire along with the information about the pipes in our homes. So let's begin. We'll start by writing our name in the rectangle under the colored squares. Next, fill a glass with water from your tap. One end of the test strip is a handle. It has no tests on it. So holding it by the handle, dip your test strip in your water for five seconds. And when you remove it, don't shake it or wipe off the excess water. Just lay it down on the table, start your timer, and we're gonna let the water react with the chemistry tests for 60 seconds. While it's doing that, I'd like to point out that this test strip is off the shelf. It wasn't custom made for Crowd the Tap. It has 14 different tests on it, and you'll notice one of them is for lead, but this test on its own is not considered accurate enough for their purposes. So the way they're gonna use it is by combining this information with the other information you provided about the pipes in your home and certain characteristics of the water and your house and demographic questions. Using all of that together, they're gonna to build a statistical model to make reliable estimates of the relative level of risk of finding lead in your drinking water. So it's been 60 seconds. Place the test strip in the black rectangle next to all the colored squares. Now, in each row, compare the color of the test result to the options provided by the legend and choose the one that's the closest match. And write the number in the square at the end of the row. Now, for each row, take the number and find the corresponding number in the water chemistry table and then circle the value associated with it. Do that for all of them. Take a photo of the test strip and the boxes you filled out. You really only need what's within the black rectangle. Now we're gonna to go to crowdthetap.org and enter our data. Click on Report Data, then the last tab, Your Chemistry. Now, enter all the values you circled on the water chemistry table. Then upload your photo. And if you have kit number two, the water collection bottles, you can hit save and finish it later. This is where you'll enter your lab results once you receive them. But for most people, just hit submit form and you're done. Good job. From everyone at SciStarter and Crowd the Tap, thank you for your participation. 